Hello students. Today we will study chapter 3 of history. The first farmers and herders. In the previous chapter we have studied about Paleolithic age. In this chapter we will cover other two periods of stone age that is Mesolithic and Neolithic age. Let's first study about Mesolithic age. Mesolithic age was also called the Middle Stone Age, brought about a change in the lifestyle of Paleolithic man. During this period, the climate of the world was getting warmer. Mesolithic people learned to hunt in groups and to fish. They also learned to domesticate plants and animals. All processes by which plants and animals are brought under human control are together called domestication. Dog was the first animal to be domesticated. It is also used during hunting for watch keeping. Later they started domesticating sheep, goat and cattle. Gradually, they became herders and farmers. Fishing became popular and fish became an important item. How man learned to grow crops? Seeds that fell at the time of gathering food or in discarded vegetable remains might have sprouted or might be man have experimented by dropping seeds into the soil and found plants growing. They started growing crops like barley and wheat. Mesolithic people lived in rock shelters and caves. They moved seasonally following animal movements and plant changes. Homes were usually built in river valleys where there was plenty of water and fertile soil for growing crops. Houses varied from round to rectangular and were built on wooden posts around the central hearth. Paintings, small sculptures carved from stones and clay have been found. Red and white were main colors which were made from rocks and naturally available materials. The paintings depict various activities of Mesolithic people. Method of hunting, fishing, collecting honey, religious worships and so on. Tools. Man's main occupation remain hunting and gathering food. Tools improved gradually. Stone tools were made from microliths. Microliths were usually stone blades ranging from 1 to 5 centimeters in length. These microliths were stuck on to the handles, bones or wood to make spears, knives, arrows, harpoons and fish hooks. The bow and arrow were invented during the Mesolithic era. Mesolithic burials Many Mesolithic burials have been excavated in central India. They believed that the dead needed food in next life and thus buried the dead with microliths, jewelry, animal bones and foods. Mesolithic sites in India In India, Mesolithic remains have been found at various places including Mysore, in Karnataka and parts of Western and Central India. Knowledge about the life of Mesolithic man in India has been derived mainly from three types of sources that is tools, caves and rock paintings and burials. The Mesolithic age which lasted from 10,000 to 8,000 BC transformed the hunter-gatherer into a farmer. Let us now move on to a next 
age to the Neolithic age. The period following the Mesolithic age is called the Neolithic age. Neolithic age is also called as New Stone Age. This period lasted from about 8000 BC till about 4000 BC. Some areas in India where Neolithic sites have been excavated are Kashmir, the Northern Vindhyas, the Middle Ganga Valley and Eastern, Northeastern and Southern India. In the Neolithic age, man turned from a food gatherer into a food producer. He moved into a larger settlements, cultivated fields, grew crops and lived a settled life. Beginning of agriculture and living in a community was the most important development of this period, but hunting continued to be a main livelihood. Growing crops assured man of continuous supply of food. Rearing of animals assured man continuous supply of meat, milk and heights. In order to take care of his crops, man need to stay at one place for a longer time. Hence, permanent settlement began to establish and community life began to take shape. Over the years, man learned to select, preserve and sow good quality seeds. Remains of animal bones and shelters found at Neolithic sites suggested that tamed, bred and raised animals, especially those animals which were mild-natured, thus domesticated animals gradually became different from wild animals polished tools. Neolithic man used harder stones to make tools and polished the blades to make them sharper according to their needs. They also made splendles and bone needles. Pot making. For keeping the food grains for a longer period, they started making baskets out of wild grass and applied clay around it. Later, they started baking clay vessels also. Invention of wheel. Invention of wheel was a milestone in the development of human beings. People could not travel easily and move heavy loads faster than before. It was during this age the potter's wheel came to be used. The wheel was also used in spinning thread which led to weaving. Community life. A village life consisted of a closely built houses surrounded by a common fence of prickly bush or mud wall. Archaeologists also discovered cooking huts both inside and outside the huts. This shows that according to whether people could cook food either inside the hut or outside it. The Neolithic man used to live in groups called tribes. A tribe is a group of two or three generations living together in small settlements or village. Hunting, gathering, farming, herding and fishing are the occupation of tribal people. The eldest or the strongest was the leader. Men had occupations such as hunting, ploughing and grazing large herds of animals. Women, children and old people take care of home and light agricultural tasks like sowing and harvesting, grazing small herds and protecting crops from pests such as birds. Religion Neolithic man worshipped water, fire, thunder, sun, earth and stars. He worshipped the cow in thankfulness for the bounty it provided and the snake in fear. Disposal of the dead. Neolithic people buried their dead. They often marked burial places with huge rectangular blocks of stone called megaliths.
A number of megaliths have been found at sites such as Adi Chinnalur in South India. Neolithic Settlements in the Indian Subcontinents Remains of several Neolithic settlements such as Mehargarh near the Bolan Pass in Pakistan, Buzuham in Jammu and Kashmir, Dojali heading in Assam have been found in the Indian subcontinent. One of the earliest village sites found in the Indian subcontinent is at Mehargarh. The village had rectangular houses made of mud and mud bricks. In the Indian subcontinent, Neolithic people practice hunting gathering as well as farming and herdings. At some sites like Mehargarh and Bozoham, macroliths and bone tools too have been found. Stones and slaves used for grinding found at many of the sites. During the Neolithic age, people at many places like Mehargar and Burzoham learned to make pottery on the potter's wheel. At Mehargar and Burzoham, the dead were buried in pits, sometimes with domestic animals. The animals could have been meant to serve as food for the dead. Let's have a quick recap of the chapter. The Mesolithic Age followed the Paleolithic Age. In India, Mesolithic sites have been found in Mysore and in Western and Central India. Mesolithic man made microliths. Some of these were fixed on wood or bone and used as spears, saws, arrows, etc. Mesolithic man painted on rocks and cave walls and buried the dead. Neolithic man was a food producer. He also invented the wheel. Farming and herding led to the establishment of permanent human settlements and community life began to take shape. Neolithic man worshipped the forces of nature and buried or cremated the dead. I hope you have understood the chapter. Thank you.